Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great day today. And in today's video, I'm gonna cover BlackBerry stock because BlackBerry announced this collaboration with AMD. So you could have saw with the news, BlackBerry stock went up pre-market and it's at $2.99, a couple times hitting $3. And a little quick overview before I go over the press release, just like last time, there's a support slash resistance level that dates back since the 2020 pandemic time frame. 2022 bounced off support, so twice, about $3.15. And then I didn't think it was gonna act as resistance again second time, but it already acted as resistance and acted as resistance again. Um, this was in March, this is in April that we're sitting on. And then the stock is not an extremely shorted territory, but it's decently shorted as a 315. These are self-reported numbers again. For the US side BB ticker symbol, it's um, eight, 0.18% shorted. Again, self-reported numbers as of March 15th for that one. And then the Canadian side for ticker symbol BB.TO. So for the Toronto Stock Exchange, it is shorted about 3.03%. So a total of 11% shorted for the stock. Again, not extremely short territory, which would have to be above 20%, but still decently shorted at 11%. The significance of that is whenever the shorts think that they've covered enough, they'll um, buy back the shares, which could trigger trigger domino effect if combination of news and all stuff. I'm not saying this news is necessarily that 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 big to cause any shorts or anything, short squeeze or anything, but I'm just saying the natural course of short positions. Um, they could either be called to cover the short positions or they think they've shorted enough and the stock is not no longer gonna go lower. So then Intel, if they buy shares, then the share price could go up and then trigger other short positions to do the same and so on and so forth. So BlackBerry announces collaboration with AMD to advance foundational precision and control for robotics industry. Uh, in Nuremberg, Germany today, April 9th, 2024, at Embedded World Today, BlackBerry announces a collaboration with AMD designed to revolutionize next generation robotic systems by enabling new level of low, low latency and jitter and repeatable determinism. Together, the companies will address the critical need for hard real-time capabilities in robotics focused hardware with an affordable and powerful platform that delivers enhanced performance, reliability, and scalability for robotic systems in industrial and healthcare. So that's good. It's in two industries, industrial and healthcare and at the same time with this calibrate collaboration um, we already have collaboration with nvidia now it's amd and then at the same time it's subsystem with arm from what i read earlier so the platform combines blackberry qnx enterprise in real-time foundational software solution and qnx software development platform sdp with heterogeneous hardware solution powered by the amd Crea k26 som that features both arm and fpga programmable logic based architecture um, with Crea and ARM subsystem can power the advanced capabilities of the QNX kernel real-time operating system, RTOS, while allowing users to run low latency deterministic function of the program, programmable logic of AMD Crea KR260 robotic start kit. So again, partnerships are growing, which is awesome. Again, they're partnered, uh, they've like collaborations in terms of with uh, Amazon for with BlackBerry Ivy, the partnerships is constantly growing, which again, we wanna see revenue growth, but it's nice to see all these collaborations overall. This combination enables sensor fusion, high performance data processing, real-time control, industrial networking, and reduced latency in robotics application. Additionally, customer, customers can benefit from seamless integration and optimization of software and hardware comp components, result, resulting in streamlined development process and accelerated time to market for innovation robotics solutions. And um, it just reminded me of something about streamlined and all stuff because Stellantis also is working with BlackBerry um, just because some things have been streamlined working with BlackBerry in terms of using their tech. At the same time, I'm not a professional, so please do your own due diligence, due diligence and research before buying and selling. This is all just my opinion. And at the same time, I do own shares in BlackBerry stock, so keep in mind while you're watching this video as well. So with QNX and software development platform, customers can start development quickly on the AMD Crea KR260 start kit and seamlessly scale to other higher performance AMD platforms as their needs evolve, uh, said um, Cheta Kona, sorry for mispronouncing that, Senior Director of Industrial Vision, Healthcare and Science Markets, AMD. Uh, combining the industry-leading strengths of AMD and QNX will provide a foundational uh, foundation platform that opens new doors for innovation and takes the future of robotics technology well beyond the constraints of experience a constraints experience until uh, now. In an integration solution by BlackBerry QNX through our collaboration with AMD will provide an integrated software hardware foundation offering real-time performance, low latency, and determinism to ensure that critical robotic tasks are executed with the same level of precision and responsiveness every single time. I said Grant Corval, VP Product and Strategy at BlackBerry QNX. These are crucial attributes for industrial care, uh, industries carrying out final 
uh, finely tuned operations such as the fast growing industry of autonomous mobile robots and surgical robots. Together with AMD, we are committed to driving technology advancements that address some of these most complex challenges and transform the future of robotics industries. Um, and then the rest is just in terms of location of booth and so on and so forth. So pretty good stuff. Again, pre-market jumped on this news. We're at $3 and zero, um, three dollars and two cents, which is awesome. And again, uh, given that with short positions, I just, uh, for the most part, I think we could probably break through this 315, which brings us to the next levels about, um, actually maybe I can zoom in a little bit. So the next levels after that were, it was like about $3.60 or $3.50, I can't remember exactly. So we're yeah, $3.60. There are low, lower levels too at the same time, like $3.28, but we're looking at to break roughly about 360, 370, 380 um, price points. But again, these are not hard resistance levels or anything, um, but they could keep us down. But as like I said, 315 was kind of uh, a strong resistance level. I didn't think it was gonna be that strong, but it held us down um, as of recent, uh, a few days ago. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks again for watching, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.